three simple fun facts about Kristen just to help you get to know her a little bit better. I was backing up her laptop one day and in her picture folder, there was a subfolder called Good Ones of Me. When Kristen heard about the movie A Star is Born, she actually thought they made a movie about her. <laughs> and my favorite one, and uh, Justin, you touched upon it, uh, Kristen went to her high school graduation prom with a valedictorian and left with the person who was voted most likely to trip during commencement. <laughs> but again, just to clarify, Kristen was not dating at the time she went to uh, the prom with her friend Anthony and then eventually married the guy she left with, so. <laughs> I think you know who's who on that one. <laughs> Mr. Fraser Stewart, I look up to you because I have no other choice. <laughs> when we first met you, you bumped into things and not things over. Today, you bump into things and not things over. You are the son I have always dreamt of having. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, 11 years ago, uh, you made Kristen very happy, but you made her even happier today, so thank you. Uh, many of you may not know this, but a few years ago, Kristen was almost engaged and married and it had nothing to do with Fraser. It's a true story. Our family took a trip to Europe back in 2011. It included a week-long cruise, and one of the day stops was Turkey. That day, we did several activities that ended up at the market by the pier before heading back to the ship. The girls were shopping while Andrew and I weren't shopping. As we finally started walking back to the ship, this Turkish guy with two of his buddies came up to me, stopped me, pointed at Kristen and asked, how many camels for your daughter? <laughs> I paused, smiled, Great. chuckled and said, well, how many camels do you have? <laughs> right away I knew this guy, or sorry, right away I knew this wasn't the answer this guy was looking for. I could see this guy was irritated and his buddies didn't crack a smile. I then realized this guy was 100% serious. <laughs> I quickly told the girls to stand in front of me and had Lori and Andrew surround them. Started walking towards the ship. Three guys walked beside us for about 30 seconds and then turned around and left. So after getting back on the ship, we all felt uh, a sense of relief. We were in a safe place. When we got back to the room, I did what any other father would do and Googled how many camels on average does a father get for his daughter? <laughs> I also Googled, what is the cost of transporting camels from Turkey to Canada? <laughs> and for those that care, it's about three to five camels on average, and about $5,000 to ship a single camel from Turkey to Canada. <laughs> I always look back at that and wonder if I said three, instead of asking him how many he had, how different our lives would be today. <laughs> but it all worked out the end, and here we are today. So in closing, Kristen, there are not enough camels in the world to express how much you mean to me. <laughs> Seriously. You heard Lori talk about you as a child and the many dreams you made true for her. I just want to let you know, dads have dreams too. Today, a dream came true for me as well. I can't tell you how proud I was walking you down the aisle, thinking about how quickly you've grown up and thinking about your future together with Fraser. Uh, you truly are an absolutely beautiful bride, as well as a beautiful person both inside and out. Definitely a very, very special moment for me. <laughs>